We're going to walk through how to start up and utilize the Phoenix Digital uh, Networking Diagnostic Software. So just after installation, I'll just open up the actual application. I'll go to the actual adapters, select my Ethernet adapter, select the, whichever one applies to you. Starting the product, it will take a couple of seconds to actually start to identify the entire network. I usually speed up the refresh to five seconds. And so now I can interrogate the entire network regardless of where I'm plugged in. So I can start here. I can look at each module, what's plugged in, what channels are active, and what they're actually doing. I can actually even come over to here and check on these counters. My counter screen comes up and I can start to see both inbound and outbound traffic, all the different categories, and uh, anything good or bad that's occurring at this particular module or on this particular port of this particular module. Going back to our base screen, I can come through and look at any of my RSS, what type of optics I have installed. I can see any flags that are appropriate, any warnings, any alarms off of the SFPs. I can also see if I have any of my ports disabled. For example, these are standalone units, so my backplane is automatically disabled. Coming down the center row, you can see I can name the module anything I would like. For example, I can put in sorry, test module one. I click the check mark to post that to the module. Now, anywhere this module goes, it will be named test module one. This is the module number or the module part number, model number. Uh, this is the MAC address, serial number of the unit, the hardware revision, software revision, and global error status. Global error will indicate any errors on the network, either locally or remotely. Now, as we start to break things, you will see that the, the software will react accordingly. So if I fault a channel, you'll see as the software refreshes, I get my channel error. I can see channel B on my master, or as I move around to the end unit here, I'll see channel A has faulted. So I can go to either one of these units, going to the master unit. I can come over. I can replace that fiber. And it, as this refreshes, I've already got indication on the modules that they've gone back active. And it will take one or two scans for the software to actually clean itself up and go through any refresh necessary. If you would like to, you can set your alarm and copper notify so that in the event, if I fault this channel again, I can come over here, fault the channel. I will actually get an alarm stating I've had a fiber break. I can't do anything until I acknowledge that. But again, I can go to the location, see where I've had the fault occur and correct the issue, allowing the system to go back to normal operation. In addition to this, I can see a network map, which is also emulated here in the bottom left. Or I could look at logs. Logs allow me to take a look at the different times and events that have occurred. And this will show me a fiber A, fiber B, or any of my copper ports and when they've been disconnected, you will see them dive or decrease in RSS, as well as going back to full functionality. So that's kind of our walk around of the Phoenix Digital Diagnostic Software.